Thank you for joining us for today's online learning series, Simple Machines. I'm Miss Yvette, better known as Layla's Mom. Today, we're going to talk about screws. Okay, a screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a pole. Remember, we talked about an inclined plane in some of the earlier lessons. A screw can be used to hold things together or lift materials, as we see in an example right here. To the left, this screw is going to actually turn so that it will allow the candy bars to drop out. While on the right, that screw is used to actually hold something together or make something more secure. Okay, terms that we need to know and understand about the screw. First, let's talk about the mechanical advantage. The advantage gained by the use of a mechanism and transmitting force. A screw has something called a pitch. The pitch is actually the distance between the threads. So now you're asking, well, what's a thread? Okay, well, the thread is the ridge or groove along the shaft or cylinder. So let's look over here at our diagram. When we look over here at our diagram, we see the shaft. That's the cylinder part right here. We see our thread, which is the groove part that sits up or it's extruded from the shaft. And then we have our pitch. Our pitch is the actual measurement between each thread. We also have our top of our screw. That's normally where we're gonna apply our force that's gonna turn our screw to make it actually work. Okay, next let's talk about the mechanical advantage of the screw. When we talk about the screw, our mechanical advantage is going to depend on the space between the thread, which we know is our pitch, and the length of the actual screw. One thing to understand, the closer the threads are together, the greater the mechanical advantage. Okay, so if we look over here at our diagram, this is going to give us the equation that we're going to use so that we can get that ideal mechanical advantage. Up here, that's our length. The P, that stands for our pitch, or the space between our threads, okay? And remember this symbol is called pi. And although we didn't give pi in this series, we have previously, and when we think of pi, we're going to use 3.14. So, again, L is going to be the radius of the screw head surface. And remember, our radius is from the center out to the edge. And then our distance is going to be our pitch and is our distance that's advanced in one rotation. So when this screw turns around one time and it goes from this thread to that thread, that's going to give us one rotation, which is going to be our pitch or our distance. So then we just come over here and we we'll plug our numbers in. So it's going to be 2 times pi times L or the length of our radius of the screw head divided by our pitch or the distance of one rotation. So now let's look at some different type of screws. If we look, this right here is a screw that someone made and the purpose of this screw, which is pretty cool, when you turn it, it's going to actually lift the cereal from this bowl and hopefully it's going to dump it out into this bowl. You could also use something like this if we wanted to extract water. So if we wanted to get water from a low area and move it to a high area, we could use a screw. Over here, this is a cork screw. So sometimes in bottles they have wooden corks to um, fasten or to keep the liquid inside the bottom and to keep it airtight. So the way we get that cork out is you use a cork screw. So this is actually inserted into the top of the bottle, and then you turn right here, and then when we turn, this goes into the wooden cork, and it's going to pull the cork up so that it can open up the um, top of that bottle. And then over here, we're familiar with cartons of, this looks like probably milk or orange juice. Yeah, it's probably either or. And then this lid right here, it screws on so that we can hold it together. So this is an example of a screw that's used to lift materials, while over here we have an example of a screw that's used to hold materials together. And then this is what our screw would look like 
on a robotic bill or in some type of robotic mechanism where we could use the screw to do different various tasks to lift materials or maybe to hold a material together. All right, so now it's time for us to focus on our challenge of the day. Before we get started, remember simple machines do not enable you to do less work, rather they enable you to use less force. So for our challenge today, you're going to look around your home or community, and we're going to look for simple machine screws. I want you to take a picture of what you find, post it on one of our social media sites. We have two. You can post it at Twitter, and you can hashtag Layla's League, or you can post it on Facebook. And you can put in this URL and it'll take you directly to our page. Or you can just do a search find of Layla's League LLC. Before you post anything on social media, remember, get your parents' permission. It's very important that they know what you're putting out there for the world to see. Okay? Again, share your findings on Twitter with hashtag Layla's League. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free. Contact me at Yvette at LaylaLease.com or send me a message at Twitter or Facebook using the above information. Thank you again, and I look forward to our next learning lesson. Bye-bye. Have a great day.